Hello everybody, greeting from my side. I'm Dr. Mandeep Malhotra. I'm a surgical and a molecular oncologist. And last year I also certified myself in uh, Edgeport, that is operation of the Edgeport Chamber from South Carolina. And today we want to discuss about sensory neural hearing loss and the role of hyperbaric medicine in treating sensory neural hearing loss. Sensory neural hearing loss occurs basically there is decrease in oxygen supply to the cochlea or inner ear. And obviously, as we understand, inner ear is, uh, you know, into a bony compartment and the labyrinthine arteries are the only supply of the blood and also the oxygen and the nutrition. So it can get compromised by any vascular event, viral infection, autoimmune disease, stroke, neural diseases. The US data suggests that around 4,000 people every year are suffering from sensory neural hearing loss. In India, this number might be much higher. And around 35% of people recover spontaneously from this event, but 65% do need treatment. The treatment for last few years was uh, comprised of uh, giving steroids, pentoxifilin, decongestants. And hyperbaric was basically reserved for salvage situations. That is when the patient did not respond to this treatment, hyperbaric was recommended. And obviously at this point of time, the results were not very great. But now since the latest research, and I, I would be discussing the Cochrane Review, which just uh, came a few years back. In Cochrane Review, it suggests that the hyperbaric medicine, the maximum benefit occurs when it is started within 10 days of onset. And there is a definitive improvement by adding hyperbaric medicine to the treatment. In absolute terms, the patient gains around 6 to 15 decibel of hearing gain by adding HBOT versus patients who do not use HBOT for treatment. And uh, it should be basically the maximum benefit occurs till 10 days and it can be tried till, till, till 3 months. After 3 months, the results are not great. And again, uh, what is the recommended uh, sessions? So the uh, otolaryngologist or our ENT fraternity definitely start their standard treatment. And on that standard treatment, we would recommend or the literature recommends that it should be either 10 sessions for 90 minutes or 20 sessions for 60 minutes. That is around 900 minutes to 1200 minutes of HBOT is required for us to achieve a good benefit or good recovery in sensory neural hearing loss by adding HBOT. The pressure has to be maintained between 2 to 2.5 ATA. If we are giving HBOT below this pressure, then obviously the results are not great. And it is generally seen that people start benefiting between five to seven sessions. And then obviously the maximum benefit is occurred once we follow the recommended, uh, the recommendations of uh, giving HBOT. Also, it is a generally very safe kind of procedure. Uh, it, the, the people also feel very good. The patient feels uh, uh, very good in the HBOT chamber. And we have the 388 uh, single chamber, uh, single sitting HBOT chamber. So, and uh, this is one of the latest HBOT chambers in uh, Delhi NCR or North India. There is just 10% incidence of mid, uh, middle ear barrow trauma, which is observed and which also gets settled in few sessions. And rarely procedures like meringotomy is actually required. And our practice, specifically what we practice in HBOT India is that we would gradually, our initial pressures are 1.5 ATA to start with. And our target is to achieve a pressure of 2 to 2.5 ATA within 3 to 5 sessions. And then follow the recommended uh, rec uh, recommended HBOT sessions of 10 to 20 accordingly. The thing is that Obviously, there is certain caution when we are looking into patients who are claustrophobic, who have diseases like human thorax. So we do a check x-ray before putting a patient into HBOT chamber or certain patients who have congestive heart failure or certain medicines, which are which we avoid like doxorubicin or bleomycin. We would not recommend giving HBOT to these patients. So uh, giving uh, just to summarize, so HBOT definitely improves sensory neural hearing loss. It should be started as soon as it is detected. It should be given along with uh, the treatment of steroids or, or uh, other uh, symptomatic and supportive treatment. So we at HBOT India 
basically our ENT fraternity recommends the uh, standard form of treatment and we support them by giving HBOT to our patients in sensory neural hearing loss. And over last few months, we have seen amazing results uh, in HBOT in our patients. And uh, again, uh, it again depends on how fast we start, what is the severity of hearing loss, what is the age of the patient, there are, if there is any comorbidity or not. And I hope that we at HBOT India bring the service to more number of patients who are actually who get suffered or who have this event and we are able to pre uh, preserve hearing for uh, more number of our precious patients thank you